Sunday school book to study my lesson, part of it was in there. I said, so I need to change this. I, I couldn't find nothing to change it to. So, so I'm going to just give you what the Lord gave me and what I had written. So today I'm going to be um, coming a little bit from um, the woman at Jacob Wells and the, he, the man at the pool of Bethesda, mm -hmm. and the man with the unclean spirit. Amen. <laughs> and I, I won't read them all, but I'll give you a summary of each one. Mm -hmm. The woman at the well, Jesus said, I must go through Samaria. Now the strict Jews had no dealing with the Samaritan because they had married unto Gentiles, the Assyrian nation who had taken them captives. So it caused a division because of, not because of their color, but because they, because God don't deal with color. Mm -hmm. He deals with the heart. Right. All we see is how much he loves us. We all belong to him. The Jews was his chosen people. Uh -huh. He gave them commandment and laws to live by <coughs> and were... <clears throat> And they were not to marry outside of their belief. They were to only to serve God, the one and only true living God. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Gentiles had many gods. He did not want his people to be lost. Back to the woman at the well. We all know the story, how, how he asked her for a drink and what she said. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. And, and why ask a drink of me is a, a sinner, a woman who is no, who you know dealing with. We are not good enough. I am not good enough. That's how we all feel when we are rejected or when circumstances come up in our life. What Jesus said, if you knew who it is that asked for a drink, you would have given it. He said, uh -huh. <clears throat> I can give you living water that can spring up into eternal life. Yeah. She, <laughs> she asked him if he was the Christ. He said, yes. You, you, know how he, you know how he told her about her life. And she went and told the town, come see a man who have told me everything I have done. Jesus needed to go through Samaria because he saw a need, a harvest ready for the picking, soul to be saved yes. through the one woman at the well. Yeah. The man at the pool, he had an infirmity 38 years. Yes, yes. Jesus knew he was there a long time. He asked him, a question, will thou be made whole? Uh -huh. He told Jesus he had no one to put him in when the water was troubled. Uh -huh. Someone always stepped in before him. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, take up thy bed and walk. Yeah. Immediately he was healed. Yeah. It was the Sabbath. After many questions from the Jews <clears throat> about who made him whole, Jesus found him in the temple, told him, sin no more. Mm -hmm. He went and told the Jews and no doubt everyone else he told them Jesus had healed him. Mm -hmm. The man with the unclean spirit. He was <clears throat> possessed with demon. He lived among the tombs. He couldn't find <clears throat> he he could he couldn't found you could find this in Mark the fifth chapter first through the twentieth verse. 
after Jesus healed him, he wanted to go with Jesus. But Jesus said to him, go home to thy friends and tell them how great a things the Lord has done for him. He went and told, and they all marveled. Jesus' encounter with these three had the same effect. They were to, they were healed of, of their troubles and didn't keep it to themselves. They went and told it, uh, they went and told it. In Matthew 28, um, 16 to 20, and you could read that, I didn't write it down. Jesus commissioned his disciple to go and preach to all the nation where he went to go and preach to all the nation. And when we accept him, we become his disciple. So that same commission is for us today. Go tell of God's goodness, how he healed us, how he brought us out of all of our struggles, our trials, our tribulation, over many hills, through many valleys. Mm -hmm. So come, take a drink of that living water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one who died for us, yes. that through his shed blood, we might live. Let us be like Jesus, have a need to go to our neighbor, our families, and tell them, come see a man. Because the harvest is ripe, the labors are few. But let us reset, see it, prepare, and go get it together. Amen. Be, be strong. Be prepared to be rejected because everyone will not want to hear of God's goodness, of his grace and mercy. Our, our job is to plant the seed. Someone else will water it. Right. Mm -hmm. Someone else will harvest it. Mm -hmm. Just trust God and he will do the rest. Yes. Jesus said to his disciple, the harvest truly is plenty, but the labors are few. Pray for therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he was sent forth labors unto the harvest. Yes. Pray my strength and yes. Amen. 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 Thank you for allowing me to stand here for you, as I ask you every day to direct me and to guide me in the way you would, that you would have me to go, not in the way that I would go. And I thank you for your blessing in the name of your son, Jesus, I do pray. Honors has been given, but I give honor to God, pastor, everyone in their respective places. <clears throat> when I was first asked to do this, I said no. <laughs> Then I said to Pastor one day, I don't like to do public speaking. He laughed. He didn't say anything else. I told my husband, he said, oh, well, you, you'll do all right. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to share a few things with you. I asked the media to put a couple of things up on the, on the screen. It's not on. Oh, the screen is not on, but that's okay. But anyway, I do give honor to God who's first in my life. And I thank him every day of my life, how he has blessed me, how he has kept me, how he allowed me to have gone places I never thought I would go, things that I never thought I would see. Heal my body time from time. All right. Two yes. surgeries this year. Mm -hmm. But I thank God I'm still here. Amen. 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 The theme for 2023, Reset. See it, prepare, go get it together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Came from Joshua 1, 10 and 11 through 2. The subtopic is the harvest is ripe. Right. Comes right. from Matthew 9, 35 to 38. Mm -hmm. There has to be a beginning for everything. Amen. The word said it. 
Genesis 1 said, in the beginning, God. All right. And it goes on to tell you in the book of Genesis what God has spoken into existence. Mm -hmm. In this little book I'm holding is 66 books. 39 in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. 27 in the Second. The beginning and the end. Yes. And God tell us <coughs> that <coughs> he invited us over 2,000 years ago to come to him, to accept him as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are talking about a ripe harvest. Mm -hmm. In order to plant, to harvest, we have to accept him. Read the word, study the word. Get that personal relationship with God. There's no other way. That is the spiritual way. In order to have a harvest. As we learn in the word of God, we all may read a scripture, but we may have a different revelation, but it all means the same. Yes. One God. Right. Amen. Amen. One way. Amen. And that is the right way. That's right. When I read uh, in Matthew 9, in that scripture, Sister Barbara just read it, but when I was reading it, I see where the word was going forth. Mm -hmm. And this young man, I think he was a paralegic, needed help. And he, there was someone there to lift him, to take him to get help. Mm -hmm. Not only was he blessed, but the one that took him was blessed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the way the walk is. Mm -hmm. When we are in this journey, when we see someone needs help, right. this is what we are here. We are God's soldiers on this earth, right. working right. Right. in his vineyard. Right. Yes. Yes. But there's always going to be criticism. There's always going to be somebody to criticize you. But then that's when you have that personal relationship with God and you're standing on what the word is telling you. Yes, come on now. I'm living for me to meet God. Right. That's not right. for you. That's right. So therefore, when I read my word, when I study my word, and I pray, like the sister just said, pray and ask God for direction. Yes, That's right. I listen. Right. Hear what he has to say. Yes. Because there's always somebody saying, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. No. You have that personal relationship Amen. with Amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 He tell you and um, also there is um, it took 30 people to translate this book 15 years to write it. The Dead Sea Scrolls. When I went up to Israel, and they took us up as one of our tour, and they point out where the, this, the scroll came from, and I'm standing there, and I'm saying, nobody but God. Because, I mean, things could have changed from the time they received the scroll <coughs> to how that was then, because it was impossible for man to get there. But I say, but God. God. Took man 15 years to write this. God spoke. Mm -hmm. They said there's over 700 translation in the Old Testament, 1,500 in the New. And the 30 people that wrote this, they were of different nationalities. So that tells me 
that God got people all over the world. It's not only about us. How do I know? I travel quite a bit. Everywhere I went, I didn't have a sign on my back. But somebody know who you are. Right. Wherever you go. That's right. And it says in, in 2 Timothy, we cannot add or take away from this. And if you read 2 Timothy 3, 3, 16 and 17, it says all scriptures is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for the instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished to all good works. So we cannot take away from this. We have to follow the path, the direction. This is a direction. This is a guide. Right. Every day of our lives. Right. When we need help, when we sit, whatever we are going through, ask God. Yeah. Yeah. He's a deliverer. Yeah. And he is on time. Yeah. Yes. We have not because we have asked. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. And I was reading in Hebrew and it tells us about an internal inheritance. Mm -hmm. That's when we serve in the almighty God with all we know how to do. Uh -huh. And at Revelation tells us it says amen. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning God spoke. Mm -hmm. So you got 66 books here that's to carry you through that's uh, right. That's right. at the end it's amen, amen. 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 All right. that is the spiritual I'd like to tell you a little about the natural amen. I grew up on a farm in South Carolina and my father was a farmer we had cotton tobacco for financial we had everything else you ate grown Back then, before, and these two books, <laughs> these were my father's book beside a, a, a branch. Ask my brother back there about what I'm talking about when I say the branch. <laughs> it wasn't a morning that we didn't get up around the pot belly stove. He would be praying and singing. Mm -hmm. This book, tells you, give you direction about farming. Uh -huh. The weather, whatever you want to know about farming. Uh -huh. And this has improved because it was little thing back then. But if you don't follow the direction, nothing is going to come out the way you think it's going to come out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a time and a season for all things. Mm -hmm. Time to plant well, and a time to harvest. And here they tell you the time. I remember they had they they save seeds. Uh, they plant things and they have to transplant it mm -hmm. in order to get a farm. Yep. And then it was harvest time. If you didn't do it right at the beginning, at the end, you don't have anything to harvest, to take to the market, to get your resources for the next crop. Same thing here. Amen. You don't harvest the word of God, you won't hear him say, well done. Yeah. My good and faithful service. Okay. We want to walk the walk that God has put before us. Other than that, we cannot make it. There is a direction and a beginning for everything that we do in our lives. I'm a person, I like hobbies. 
I sold. I'm wearing what I have on today because it was just a piece of material. Yeah. I decided we were going to go to the fa I think it was a family reunion or whatever it was, and everything was supposed to be ethnic. This is a guide for sewing. I took it up in, in uh, school a little bit, but I learned a lot by praying and asking God for direction. Because when I go in the basement and sit down at my sewing machine, before I start sewing, I pray. Everything I do. So this is not the, this is the pattern, but it's not the original pattern. Okay. See, God tells us we cannot change mm -hmm. his work. That's true. But in the natural, we like to play with things mm -hmm. and we will change it. Mm -hmm. that's right. And that's all right. But he wants us to follow him. Yes. Yes. That is the only way. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is to follow God yes. with yes. all of your heart, yes. all, right. all of your soul. Amen. We want to hear him say, well done. Amen. He sent his son just for me, oh God, that I may have life. Yes. Have life eternal. Oh, bless yes. 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 So let us love on each other right. Right. as he asked us to do. He, not, he, he didn't ask us, he commanded us to do. All of us sitting here today, I don't care where you add in life, what you obtain in life, what degree you have in life, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It matters because we know we have to work in order to make, but we shouldn't let it matter in our heart. When we ask God to come in our heart and change us, let it be because God said it. Thanking him for salvation through his son Jesus Christ. Amen. Respect and honor to the pastor and to each and every person here. Just thanking God for salvation. Yes. Thanking God for life. Yes. Thanking God for eternal life. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to share a few verses of scripture with you. Today, some of the things you might hear me speak this morning, you've already heard from the first two speakers. Thank God for that. Because he always sent his confirmation in all things. Amen. I thank him for that. Amen. For God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. He's always on time. Yes, he is. Even when you think he's late. Amen. Sometimes I think, Lord, you might be a little bit late. Because we are feeling right now. I want you to come a little sooner. But when I look back on it, He's always on time. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to read our first set of verses from Matthew 9, chapter, verse 26, 36 to 38. And it reads like this. But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them. And because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep, having no shepherd. Then said he unto the disciples, The harvest is truly is plenty, but the labor is our few. Mm -hmm. uh, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, Hallelujah. that he will send forth labors into the harvest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the, the first command, one of the commandments in these verses is that he asks them to pray. Amen. Yeah, to pray. Now, who is the Lord of the harvest? Mm -hmm. Jesus is the Lord of the harvest. 
harvest. Hallelujah. Right. Jesus is still the Lord of the harvest Hallelujah. today. Hallelujah. Even though he's sitting at the right hand of the Father, uh -huh. he's seeking workers to be laborers for the harvest. Hallelujah. And as you heard your earlier speaker said, you have to prepare yourself for the work of the Lord. Amen. First you start with prayer, you have to prepare yourself by being in the word of God. You have to prepare yourself by living what the word says to live. Jesus saw the great multitude of people and who needed to be saved. Mm -hmm. Are you saying people that need to be saved today? Hallelujah. Yes. Are you giving them the gospel today? Yes. Are you prepared to give them the gospel today? Are you living the gospel today? Well, All these questions we must ask ourselves. Yes. Jesus said to, he was moved with compassion. Do you have compassion on all people? Hallelujah. Or do you have compassion just on some? <laughs> Depends on what kind of sin they sin. You have a little bit of compassion on this, the not, not on the other. You know? But you must have compassion on all. The sin is sin is sin. Praise God. Don't look at the physical sin and forget the end of sin that people commit every day. Yeah. Hallelujah. You must have compassion. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And he was moved. Uh -huh. And he was moved for, for, are you moved for your fellow man? My God, Jesus my God. is with his father in heaven right now. Mm -hmm. But he knows everything that we are going through. Yes, he, he knows every heart. Yes. Because he lived and walked in this earth. He's waiting to hear our prayer. He's waiting to hear your prayer. Yes. Praying for you to help be able to do what God would have you to do. Praying for others to be able to do what they would need to do. Praying for the laborers to have compassion. Don't come out there to anyone acting like you know it all and you've been there and you haven't done anything. Wrong. You just want them to step up and be good right now in Because that's not the way God is. Hallelujah. He should come to you before anyone with an humble spirit. Let them know you were set up saved by grace. Amen. Amen. And that you're trying to live right. That's right. Pray for God to give you the strength to live holy. Because as soon as you step out for God, the enemy don't want to take you out. So you have to pray for strength and courage in each and every day. And to have love of Christ in your heart for all men. Regardless of who they are. You need to have love in your heart towards them and for them. And you must show that love. Yes. You can't keep saying, I love you. <laughs> yes, I really do. <laughs> but you, you, every time they do, a person do wrong, you just you want to beat them down. Amen. You, want, you, want, you don't want to help restore them back to the Lord. Amen. You want to put them aside. You want to talk about them. You want to gossip about them. Amen. But you don't want to help them. Right. Say, I love you. Right. I love all people. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. The one you should show the love the most is the one who do the grievous things. Come on, yeah. uh -huh. Come on preacher. It's not the one that does the best thing. It's not the one that takes you the meal and gives you the gifts and all that. It's the one that does the hardest thing to you. Those are the ones you need to show love. Yeah, you're right. Hallelujah. Praise right. the Lord. God is good. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Praise God. Pray for the gospel to be preached and to teach. This is the way the word says. The gospel should be preached right. and teach. Amen. Hallelujah. Preach and teach. Yes. And if you study the word of God, you have someone to give someone in your spirit. Will God will give you the spirit to teach someone the word he has shown you. Mm -hmm. You are able to do this. Hallelujah. You might say, well, I don't think I was called. You were saved, weren't you? You accept Christ. And you were called. And you have many churches in your in your in your life, on right. your job, mm -hmm. at the at the courthouse, at the mm -hmm. hospital. Yeah. These are your churches. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And there's a pulpit there. Amen. Give the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 So Robert did that uh, demonstration about the woman at the well and the man, how they went out and they preached. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. They didn't have the church. Mm -hmm. But you can preach. Hallelujah. Yes, you can. The Great Commission has been given to me. All believers. Amen. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. This is to all believers. Jesus said, and, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in the earth. That's right. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, oh. baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, yes. even unto the end of the world. This is the great cause of 
great commission. He said he would give you all power to give to Jesus. And he said, I will give you power. That's right. Yeah. You have all power. The same power that Jesus has. Hallelujah. Let that power find Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And he said, go into all the world. All the world. No, you can't be there in physical sense every day, True. but you can pray for those who go there. Yes. And all yes. praise God. Amen. Prayer is needed. As Jesus said in, in the earlier verses in chapter 9, pray. Mm -hmm. Pray for those who are going out. Maybe right. your body is winding down. Right. And you can't go, but you can pray for those who go. Right. So praise the Lord. You can pray, you can pray, you can pray. Pray God. Praise God. Right. I stand as a witness for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My life living, I try to live a holy and a righteous life. I thank God for saving me because sure enough, I didn't deserve to be saved. I thank God for keeping me because sure enough, I don't deserve to be kept. I thank God for healing me because he promised me that he could heal me. I thank God for life. I thank God. Thank God for every opportunity. Yeah. From the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That was my first place. God confirmation said, mm -hmm. it was the beginning. Yeah. Psalms 24 and 1 says, the earth is the Lord oh, and the fullness thereof yeah. and all them that dwell therein. There's nothing in the earth that God don't know about. Right. Praise God. He knows that all would need a Savior. Yes. And he said in Central 316, for God so loved the world Hallelujah. that he gave his only God, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm there like said, there's a beginning and there's an end. Yes. And the book is telling you what it's all about. Yes. Your life begins and it's going to end. Yes. Be faithful to do what God gives yes. you to do. God will give you the power and the strength to do it. Amen. May God bless all of you for the hearing and the reading whenever you study his word. Yes. That he will allow you to teach his word. That he will allow you to, to live his word. That he will allow you to have compassion. That he will show you how to to show love to, the, to your enemy. Because your enemy needs to be saved. And you don't need to not go to heaven because you don't allow your enemy. Come on, preacher. Come on. Hallelujah. We love the Lord today. We thank God for the Holy Spirit today. We thank God for being sanctified to the truth today. I thank God for being able to stand here. Hallelujah. It is not like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. Not me, yeah. not the same. Right. And he hasn't yet. Hallelujah. And I think of salvation. Who is my Jesus Christ? Pray my strength in the Lord.